Roof racks, why are they so expensive? Are you gearing up for adventures this summer with family and friends? If you are, you're almost certainly at some point gonna go, man, why do these things cost so much? It doesn't have to be the case, but over the last couple of years especially, roof racks have become pretty spendy. Some of the expense will be attached to what type of vehicle you have and what roof it has on it. If you have nothing and it's a bare roof, it's gonna cost you more than if you have raised rails on the roof because you require additional components to put racks on the roof. There are inexpensive options that you can get from companies like Malone. There's a product called the VersaRail, which is about $200, and it uses suction cups and straps through your vehicle to go on the roof. It's a fantastic option for temporary use. It does have some downsides, such as water will come in if it's raining through the weather stripping in your doors. It is a little bit noisier, and it can kind of get in your way when you're sitting in the vehicle because the strap goes all the way through. However, if you're using it once a summer, twice a summer, once a month, it's a fantastic inexpensive option. Malone also make the Airflow cross rails, which is going to be something around the $200 to $300 mark. It attaches directly to most raised rails on vehicles, does exactly what the Thule or Yakima setups do. It just has a few less features and comes in at a much better price point. Now that takes us to the premium racks, Thule, Yakima, Rhino Rack, and all those brands. Why are they so expensive? You're looking upwards of $550 to close to $1,000 for a roof rack setup from any of these companies. There's a ton of research that goes into them a ton of testing and loads of engineering. The way a rack is attached to a naked roof vehicle is with a fit kit. So it basically is engineered to each specific vehicle. So these companies have to go through an exhaustive research and development process just to make something that's safe and test safely to go on the roof of your vehicle. Think about it, you might be carrying a 120 pound fishing kayak on the roof of your vehicle. You certainly wanna be sure that that is gonna hold that weight and is not gonna come flying off and hit another vehicle or worse. So a lot of the expense in these racks comes in that research and development phase. Also, most of them are built in Europe or North America, so obviously labor costs are higher there, but on the flip side, that's creating jobs in these communities, which is fantastic. In a nutshell, yes, racks are expensive. They're gonna run you somewhere from $200 to $1,000 for a set of base racks. How much you use them and how much a silent ride is valuable to you, is going to kind of dictate how much you spend. But just understand that there is a lot that goes into the research and development and the safety testing and all that kind of stuff. So if you have any more questions about roof racks or how to get outfitted for your next adventure, we'd love to chat with you. You can check us out at roofraxcalgary.com or roofraxedmonton.com.